Welcome, my name is Iron Crow, and this is the continuing adventures of, well, playing games upon games upon games after games, and then playing more games all August long. This is my final farewell from YouTube. I will no longer be producing content for the people of YouTube. And if somehow you stumbled across this video, that refers to you. I will no longer be making videos for you, for your entertainment, for your gratification. I obviously am not able to do so uh, successfully, so I'm going to stop. I'm going to try and find something else to do. Yeah, right, I'm not going to find shit else to do. This was basically my best and last chance to find anything of value uh, that I can produce. And, well, it wasn't, it wasn't even close to what I hoped it would be, but... Oh well. Sometimes things don't work out, and... Sometimes, for some people, nothing works out, ever. That's my situation, but I won't burden you with that. Not your fault. Uh, you don't need to worry about me. I will uh, find my own way. So I'm going to be playing some Trine 3. This is a game that just came out a few days ago. It was in paid beta test mode for quite a while. I think around four or five months. And, of course, I had absolutely zero interest in it at that point. But now that the game has released, I am very much interested in it. So let me bring up the game for you. Trine 3, the Artifacts of Power. Trine number 1 is the first stereoscopic 3D game that I played that was properly that I properly uh, viewed in stereoscopic 3D. I think that the first game I tried in stereoscopic 3D was probably Star Wars The Old Republic. But that one I never, I didn't have it correctly set up, so it, I thought I was getting a good 3D experience, but I wasn't really. But my conversion was way too low, so the game world looked flat. But try number one, it's three, it was 3D vision ready, it came set up properly, viewable in 3D <laughs> with 3D vision and it was a cool experience it was very cool Trine 2 came out and it had even better stereoscopic 3D performance it had absolute, <coughs> absolutely 100% native in-engine rendering and it could also output just <coughs> just by itself without any need for stereoscopic drivers at all it could output into <coughs> Half side by side, <coughs> half side by side, half top and bottom, half over under. It even supported crazy formats like DLP checkerboard, which are basically defunct. You, I don't think you can even buy a 3D TV these days that supports that. Uh, my dad's 3D TV, which he got very early on in the 3D TV uh, life cycle in 2007, I think it was. That one is a Mitsubishi that supports DLP checkerboard. But other than old TVs, nothing really uses that. And of course, Trine also supports interlaced. Well, the, I, I knew Trine 3 was coming down the pike, but I didn't do any investigation into it. So when I saw that Total Biscuit did his WTF is on this video, and he went to the settings, and and he made a note of the stereoscopic 3D settings and he says he had no stereoscopic 3D hardware and even if he did he couldn't record it. Both of those things are false. I know for a fact that he has stereoscopic 3D hardware because he did a video a couple years ago where he showed his basically his setup, his office, and he has not one but two of the same exact stereoscopic 3D monitor that I have. He had not one, but two. And this man had never used them in stereoscopic 3D. And I even saw the little sticker, NVIDIA 3D Vision Ready, on the top of his monitor. And this guy, he never tried it. And I made, at the time, I made a comment and I said, I've, this guy needs to try stereoscopic 3D. He's got two monitors of the same 3D monitors I've, that I have and that have provided me with unbelievable gaming experiences. And he replied saying, oh, I, I know what stereoscopic 3D is. I played some racing games on my console, on my 3D TV. No, 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 motherfucker. No, 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 no. 
I don't give a fuck about your consoles. I don't give a fuck about you seeing The Hobbit or Avatar in 3D at the theater. That shit is 20% of what you can get with stereoscopic 3D gaming. No, 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 no. You have not seen 3D gaming until you've seen it on PC. Properly configured, of course. It's very important. It's got to be rendering properly and it's got to be properly con configured. And you are able to configure this game's rendering in-game and you don't even need stereoscopic drivers. You don't need Tridef. You don't need IZ3D. You don't need 3D Vision. If you have 3D Vision or IZ3D, this game will it properly interface with them. And I tried, I tried the, I tried it out a few days ago, a couple days ago, and I made a video in 3D. Since this game has native stereoscopic rendering, you cannot record this in 3D with Fraps, so you've got to use NVIDIA Shit O Play or Shadow Play, or you have to be using one of the. Uh, the other rendering options, like half side by side or over under, or interlaced or whatever, and then you've got to record it like that. But I can't actually view that with my monitor, so I can't do that. So I'm going to be playing this in 2D. I would love to make 3D video of this, but I can't. So I'm going to be playing this in 2D, 60 frames per second, of course. I'm playing this at 1440p, though it's being down downscaled in OBS to 1080p. So would you like to actually see the game after six and a half minutes of speaking? I think you would. All right, so I'm going to be playing this with a controller because this game has made some modifications to <gasps> how it works at a fundamental level. You have full and complete 3D movement as demonstrated in this overworld or this map area. <clears throat> and that also carries over to the game world itself, the levels. <coughs> the last of our three heroes was Amadeus. As a young man, he dreamed of becoming a powerful sorcerer in order to impress people, but he never really got the knack for the grand fireballs he dreamt of. Amadeus was only ever good for conjuring boxes. Thankfully, it had turned out to be a skill more useful than he'd ever expected. So Amadeus, of course, the wizard. Amadeus the wizard was enjoying a well-deserved holiday to see migrating giant turtles with his wife Margaret and their three children. The wizard's wife was a firebrand of a woman, and all their three children were very talented when it came to conjuring fireballs. In fact, it was a small blessing that one afternoon, they had left poor Amadeus to have a nap in peace. But he slept too long. When he woke up, he was already late to see the great turtles. I'm late. Oh, I'm so late. Alright. So I just want to make sure I could hear that uh, explanation of Amadeus and who he be. We need to get up here. <coughs> Hopefully I'll be able to do that like this. Yep. Alright, so this, as you can see, this is 3D movement. It's not, it's not two-dimensional like Trine 1 and Trine 2 were. Well, we can pick up this too. It's pretty neat. Kaboom. Let's make sure I'm not missing any secrets. You are supposed to explore these 3D environments. Well, you can go way out here. Nothing out here, though. So, Total Biscuit played this game. And he said... After almost being... I guess he said he was three quarters of the way through the game. After playing that much of the game, he said... That one of his biggest issues with the game was... The 3D world. Since you can move in 3D now. And he said he had a problem telling what was in the foreground and what was in the background. Which is a certainly a legitimate issue for these games with 3D graphics but 2D movement. And it was just astonishing to me to hear him say that after knowing that this man is aware that stereoscopic 3D is supported in this game. He's known that for a very long time. He's even had stereoscopic 3D hardware, though he didn't 
You didn't have a full and complete 3D vision kit, as far as I know. Damn, that doesn't work. Guess I need to put this box up there, too. So this man, who calls himself the number one PC games commentator on YouTube, doesn't know one of the best things about PC gaming. The fact that you can get fully configurable... What the hell? Y... XB... The fact that you can get fully configurable stereoscopic 3D experiences... It allows you to get something 10,000 times better than even the best 3D cinema. Avatar ain't got nothing on this. Well, I don't want to pick that up. I want to pick this up. What is he doing? How do I pick this up? Yeah, I haven't played Amadeus in this game yet, so I don't know all the controls. Okay, there's this over here, I see. There we go. So why is there no curiosity on his part? Like, hey, I make a lot of money covering PC games. Maybe I could invest a 150 bucks into a 3D vision kit with glasses and a uh, emitter, since I've already got the two monitors and two-thirds of the way to an insane 3D vision surround setup. Okay, I'm trying to knock this thing down, but... I guess I have to do it like that. It wouldn't let me throw down the barrel. Fortunately, it does... The controls do latch onto the, uh... Controls latch onto the narrow plank, or narrow mast, or whatever. That's not a mast. Let's whatever it is, it latches onto it. I don't have to worry about 3D movement. some stuff in here. Sneak on in. So I haven't really, I haven't played this game much yet, obviously. But I haven't had any issues with the movement. Well, what was that? I haven't had any issues with the movement, any issues with the controls. <laughs> as far as moving goes, the controls selecting what I want to pick up. Yeah, sure. <laughs> but the camera moves. Don't confuse me. The camera automatically moves. I have no control over it. <coughs> we need to summon this. Maybe if I climb up on the cliffs, I could have a better view of the beach. I might find the turtles as well as Margaret and the children. So obviously I would much rather be playing this in stereoscopic 3D right now. Whoops, didn't mean to slam you. But I can't really... I can't really make that work. Okay, we're gonna need another... Oh my gosh, okay, so the controls for this are a bit weird. I can't just... Alright, there we go. It takes some getting used to... The the controls for the wizard and his boxes are definitely not as easy in 3D. I, I want to push it forward. I don't want it to go up. But I can't really make that happen. Okay. So there are definitely some strange artifacts, like... If you look at the edges of objects against the sea in the background, like this tree right here, there's a little bit of shimmering of light blue. And I think that has to do with the anti-aliasing, which is FXAA. I've got it on just medium anti-aliasing, but all the anti-aliasing options enable <coughs> FXAA. Pretty terrible. Alright, so let's try and get up here. 
The way up to the observation deck is through this rather inviting gate, but it's locked. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. If you hold left, then you can move it uh, in Z space as well as X. And Y if I use the right trigger. Okay, so this gives you full and complete control. And you don't move the wizard at all in this mode. Okay, that makes that makes perfect sense. Thank you for uh, explaining that to me, game. Do you have anything down here? You do, you do gotta look for secrets in this. <laughs> I can get all up in there, but there's nothing there yet. Alright, so how can I move this mechanism? Aha! How do you drop? Whoa! So the the ghost image of that somehow creates physics. Okay, it's highlighting X, but X doesn't do anything. <coughs> All right, so how do I get in here? <coughs> Oh. I need to ride the other elevator. I need to ride that elevator down. So how do I... Oh, I can create another box and the other one should disappear. Okay. Puzzles. I see this. I don't know, man. I think the 3D is pretty cool. Oh, what's this? Anything here? Nope. And it's especially these camera moves are especially cool in 3D because you're getting the depth. You're getting all these depth cues as things move forward and backward in the uh, in the screen. Alright, so we've got this now. Whoa, 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 what the fuck was that? Up we go. What a magnificent view. And there are the turtles, on their way to... to make more turtles, I suppose. The artifact of soul. How, uh, nice of you to join me. Thank you again for all the magic powers you've bestowed on me, and all the marvelous adventures. If you're here about business, I'm sorry, but I'm unable to join you. You see, this is the first time I've ever been on holiday with my family since... Well, since you and I first met. Please? Oh, it's Tri. Can you wait a little? I still need to return this sheep to its family. Oh, your timing is night. extremely inconvenient. Well, right. <laughs> We're reunited again for another mission. Okay, I can't do that yet. So there, it, they do give you a readout of the uh, the trine angles. That's what those pyramid things are. I did miss two, but they do allow you to go to specific spots in the level to try and find them. You don't have to do the entire level again. So that's a really neat thing, which is important because you need the trine angles collected to progress in the game. And that's another thing Total Biscuit didn't like. Our three heroes would be whisked away at a moment's notice. For with great power came also great responsibility. 
The artifact of soul had arcane powers of resurrection, making our three heroes immortal and capable of great deeds and adventures. Sometimes, whether the heroes wanted these adventures or not. I still don't understand how this trine magic works. You see, when we are together, the artifact contains our real selves, and our outside selves are projections, like shadows of reality. What, Amadeus? I'm no shadow. I can eat a whole grilled hog. Could a shadow do that? Pontius, I didn't mean a literal shadow, but as a metaphor. Isn't methanol what you strip paint with? Mm. Okay. It's a bit tiresome to put all your life on hold because of a magical candle stand with a flair for abducting bystanders for adventures. I was in the middle of a daring rescue myself. We seem to be at the outskirts of the Astral Academy. This isn't a good place for an adventure. I've already pinched everything. Hey. All right, so now I have access to all three of my characters at once. And now I have to solve the puzzles correctly. Puzzles should be a bit more tricky now. Alright, so we want to use the wizard here. And do what? Okay, don't fall. All right. Just destroy that crap. Uh, what's what's he doing? He's stuck. Oh, it's my controller being a piece of crap again. Did you destroy boxes? No. Look at all these places to explore. So cool in 3D. I wish I could play this in 3D right now. They really need to fix shadow play, man. We need another option for stereoscopic capture. These idiots. That NVIDIA, they don't care. Neither do the 3D gamers on the forums. They don't care either. So I just hate people, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I hate you all. Alright. What am I doing? Well, I can stick that up there. Whoa. Those were some weird physics, so can I grapple onto that or no? Okay. Oh, whoa. So you gotta go and get his body back. Ah, shit. So I guess the only way to do it is to swing. Try and swing under there. Alright, so what is this thing? Must be something to this. I just moved it a little bit. Okay. 
All right, so I can grab onto that. So it looks like I've lost this one. And grab onto it, but I don't think I can actually swing on it. Shouldn't be too hard for me to cross this. Okay. So let's try and do this then. Whoops. Alright, so I do have to swing. Let's try it. At least. No, no, no. God damn it. Okay. Whoa. What does that mean? Alright, so I think she can swing this way. I don't know, man. The 3D is pretty friggin' awesome. Makes some cool things possible. <laughs> Oopsies! <laughs> These games are made to be played in co-op. Can't kill a squirrel. But... I don't have many friends. And I don't have any friends that play Trine 3, so... Gotta do what I can do. Okay, what we got here... Attach things together. Whoops. No. Here's how we'll do this. No, 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 no. Okay, so that pulls itself. Can I get up there? Whoops. Oh. Come on. Latch on. There you go. Twin gates block the hero's path. How would they handle the handles? Yikes. No. Okay. Time to come up with a different solution. Slice these up. Yep. Let's see if we can get this underneath here. Oh. So it's not gonna work like that. Nope. 
Okay, controller, stop it. so weird but it worked <laughs> a water course of course okay Trying games always have these underwater areas. Not a surprise to see one here. <clears throat> Why does the path to the Astral Academy go through a lily pond? Landscaping isn't really a part of the curriculum. Total Biscuit played this level in his WTF Fizz, so I remember seeing him go back here. I might not have known about this unless I'd seen that. Because it does blend in quite well. But there were some some uh, trine angles that he did not successfully figure out how to get. It's pretty clear that he did not like the game at all, really. Most of his time in the WTF was, F is was spent complaining. Oh. I see. Oh, I can actually attach onto that, I didn't realize. Whoops. Okay. Whoops. Does something cool happen? If they're both down at the same time. Whoa, 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 whoa! Is it even possible? Because she just jumps. Nah, I don't think I can attach these because she just jumps. Alright. Let's attach this here. Secrets. Hey. Yeah, this dude doesn't get much play. He does have his uses, but not here so much. You can use him to glide with his shield. Troublemaker. I'm gonna guess that these are checkpoints. I don't know. It's cool that they slightly move when you touch them. So this is like a Capcom game. You got weak points. Okay, whoops. Ooh, whoa. 
Well, he's dead. I think. Nope. He's not dead. Whew. A strange cloud poured out of the defeated monster, soon scattering and fading into the wind. Smokes of vile sorceries! Look here. This villain, it's made of junk. Creepy. We got J.J. Abrams on the camera work here. Can't keep the goddamn thing steady or right side up. We could go back to living our lives as free and normal people. Freedom. It does sound tempting. The heroes had gained their strange powers in the first place by touching the artifact. And so they reached out to it again. I don't think it's working. Imagine giving away your powers. How about I imagine sticking an arrow through this busy... No! <laughs> hmm. This turned out worse than I could have imagined. It's headed for the Academy. All right, that makes it a little worse, and I guess that means... We're going to follow it! Okay. So Total Biscuit complained about it not... The camera not making it obvious where you're supposed to go here. All you gotta do is go over here. I really think that... He, Total Biscuit must have been on some type of medication when he was playing this game because his complaints just are ridiculous, in my opinion. Alright, so this is... This is where this dude can shine. Or it's where he can die. Whoops. Though, one thing he did say that, if true, I really don't like is that there's no progression system in this game. I'm trying to, you could level up your, your dudes and purchase new skills, but he says there's none of that in this. It's just the basic arrow shooting and this for her you don't get the special skills that's true that's crazy Surprised to hear Zoya scream when the artifact broke. Wait, what? You must be talking about Amadeus. Uh, I made no such sound. Well, if neither of you screamed, who was it? I don't know, man. Alright, so I need to get up there, though. Ooh, ooh. I don't know how I can be in the pit, but... Okay. Trying to be a little bit too clever, let's just do it the old fashioned way. Nope, that's not good. Somehow I'm still controlling this though.
Oh, what's going on? Oh, shoot. I screwed myself over here. Controller's going wild again. <laughs> making sure that cart don't break. So, Total Biscuit couldn't figure this one out. So, I'm going to see if I can figure it out. I read an article on PC Gamer. The developers, Frozen Byte, have been catching a lot of heat for this game because it's not what people were expecting. And it's also a very short game, apparently. And he said that they were. They had an ambitious idea for this game, but they just didn't have enough money to make it happen. So many they ran out of money and they had, had to end the game development to cycle. really difficult to hear some of the dialogue in this game. So I can dive in here and I don't think there's anything here. I don't know what that thing is. to fish. Oh. Let's just try and just grab it. At last, there will be fish stew for dinner. Physics on that are going a little crazy. Alright, we got him out of our way now. Anything back here? Wow, you can go all the way back there. But there's nothing to see. We're only getting 50 frames per second here as well. I think it's all the rain and shit. Whoa, whoa, 
Okay, so it looks like I can... Whoa! Some weird series of grabs. I was able to manage to do that. Ah, shit. Grab onto this. More wizard landscaping? I'm sure they had something practical in mind when they set these up. Ah, oh, no, no. I could grab onto this, okay. Damn. Shoot. So as I was saying about the developers, they got a lot of negative press about the game, of which Total Biscuit was a part, of course. And he said that he doesn't know if the Trine series was gonna, is going to be able to continue after this. They spent a bunch of money and now they're getting... A lot of negative comments about the game. It's just terrible to put so much time and energy and love into something and it doesn't get received very well. I know all about that, man. I know all about that. So I'm, I'm supporting this game. I bought it at full price, which is something I rarely do these days. It's only 20 bucks, but... Still, I think this game needs to be supported, especially by 3D gamers. I don't care if you don't like puzzle platformers. The game absolutely is designed to be playing stereoscopic 3D. And what other developers? Turn things back to normal. But I don't get it. Why would Pontius the Brave voluntarily give up his magic powers? I've been starting to think Trine is a little unfair when it comes to prioritizing our adventures between the socio-economic classes. What? We're always rescuing kings and princesses. What about the sheep? So you should be able to kind of cheese this. Or you could use the rope grabs to get places where you weren't not not really supposed to. So I guess this is supposed to come down. Yeah. Anyways. So this game needs to be supported by 3D gamers. They need to be thanked for supporting stereoscopic 3D and making the only 3D Vision game I think that's come out this year. I'm not 100% on that, but I believe this is the only game that has been rated 3D Vision Ready, released in 2015. Batman Arkham uh, Knight, or whatever the latest Arkham game was, was not 3D Vision Ready. 3D Vision is all but dead, my friends. So we need to make sure that developers keeping this alive get some... get some love and... Fortunately, I think... I think we can look forward to fewer and fewer games coming out 
Stereoscopic 3D ready. I can't get up there, so I'm going to do it like this. Just probably how the game means for us to do it. Shit. No. See, there's a problem with grabbing on to the wrong thing. So get rid of that. Come on. Nope. Wow. I don't know how I'm getting out of this one. Is there a way to climb up? Nope. I'm a bit puzzled as to what I need to do here. I think that this will be high enough. Maybe it will. See that right there. Okay, so this summons a ball of fire. Direct it. Ouch. Oh, come on. The Total Biscuit also complained about how you can't tell exactly where things that have been picked up are going to drop. You can tell by the shadow a little bit, but it's kind of hard to tell because of the 3D movement with it. Guess what? Uh, can help out with that, Mr. Biscuit. Yeah, that's right, stereoscopic frickin' mother frickin' 3D mother nigga. But why don't you consider taking one of them monitors you got, getting a 3D Vision 2 kit, I know they're hard to find because NVIDIA has basically killed 3D Vision and you can't buy them. You can't buy the kits really anymore, so you gotta put in a little effort to find one. But it's necessary because you're the number one stairs number one number one PC gaming channel. You need to know about stereoscopic 3D. So what have we got here? I didn't do anything? Okay, so I'm seeing these. Oh. Oh, and they slide back? That's a pile of piss. So sick of this grabbing on the wrong thing. Go by. Thank <laughs> you. 
so. Yeah, I can target that, but I can't actually can't actually hit it. Wait, why is this still here? It got stuck. Okay, you can climb up here. I didn't notice that. Hopefully I can make this jump. Oh, shoot. Come on. Alright. A little bit higher. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, really? Whoa. That's an interesting development. Let's try that. Nope. Oh, shoot. Yeah, the physics are just totally weird. What the heck is that? It doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, I don't know how they want you to do this, but apparently it's not like this, because it's just... The game is broken somehow. Come on. Damn it. Oh, man. I only got five more trine angles to get. I just gotta figure out what the trick is to this. Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to connect these. That doesn't seem too useful. Come on, get up. I wonder if he can break these. No. Does not break it. Oh, I had it for a second. But she's aiming at it the wrong direction. Oh my god. Have I done it? purpose of these. Okay, I see that. It looks Four like more this trine angles. shard of trine gives us some of our old power. Keep it safe, Amadeus. I have a hunch we're going to need it when we track down that dark cloud. Onwards. All right, so that is going to be about an hour's worth of trying three. About half an hour more than I planned on, but that level took me a while to do. Got stuck a few times. And what you see right there with her constantly firing is my broken controller. 
My right trigger is just busted. So I missed one here. And where's the other three? Right here, I missed three. But I did pretty well. It's not bad. That's more than Total Biscuit did. Alright then, so... Oh god, stop it. That's gonna conclude this look at Trine 3. If anyone got to the end of this video, and you are a 3D gamer, some watching a 2D video, I think that 3D gamers should still watch 2D videos. There's no need to be... Uh, I don't even know what the right word would be. I guess a snob, maybe? No need to be a snob. No need to be closed-minded. So, uh, let's please support this group, this uh, game development team, Frozen Byte, by purchasing their game and thanking them for doing what they did with the stereoscopic 3D. So, my name is Icro, thank you for watching, and I'll see you as the August farewell extravaganza continues. It's gonna continue until the end of August. Goodbye.